Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. This is gonna be another Rust build because some people asked me in the comment section to make something for Rust, like another Rust build, because I guess you guys enjoy what I'm doing. So thanks a lot for the support. And this is the new base I made. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by showing you the outside. It looks like this basically. Costs in total 60k stone at only 400 metal, but mainly you want the core part, the inside part, to be upgraded all to metal because it gives you way more protection. I'm gonna start by the front door and I'm gonna go to the cool spots later at the end and you'll see these doors. What's the function of these weird ass doors and the gaps? And oh, someone is flying over there. Anyhow, this is building server. I always test my stuff in. So this is your entrance. You're gonna have like quick drop off chest when you wanna just drop anything you have on you instead of dropping it on the ground. Just the just put it in this chest and run away, run back to the fight or whatever. This is for anyone raiding you. Like if they come and door raid you, they have to go through this door, then this door, then they have to jump crouch here and jump crouch this one, then like the only thing they could do is like peek this there's no way they're gonna shoot a rocket up there or like do anything to fuck this up maybe some explosive ammo i'm not sure but it's gonna be hard for them you could like get these traps like some of them are close some of them are more back so they can't do anything about it and of course make this into metal so they can't pick us up and destroy the shotgun traps and then this will be cancer for anyone door raiding you on like the early wipe when everybody's door, uh, door raiding with satchels. So you're gonna go through the airlock, plus you have like a uh, uh, lot of airlocks, like this is one here, this is another one here. So it's like two airlocks, not like I could airlock every everyone, almost, every doorway almost, but that will be cancer for you going out quick and then quick. So you reach the main part here. As you see, let me remove this door. You enter from here. You have three furnaces. This is the ore chest where you put like the sulfur and metal and high coal and the stuff that needs cooking, basically. And this is uh, your drop off chest, not drop off. This is gonna be like between main loot and like the stuff you have for everyday use. And I'm sorry for the steam thingy. This is by the way, graffiti spamming me. You know graffiti is always on uh, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Uh, no, they can't see you graffiti, they can't see you, they can only hear you. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to the video. Uh, I want to do this quick shout out for graffiti, he's awesome, he's one of my best supporters. Um, so basically, this is like your everyday chest, then you come here and you have like probably your like guns and armor and shit here because you have your beds. This base, by the way, is made for around 3-4 people, depends. I don't make any bases for bigger groups because I hate bigger groups. Being four is already cancer for solo or duo players, but like it's doable. Like sometimes you can clutch versus four guys. So anyway, I don't encourage any more any bigger groups. Uh, these are the most important chests. Why? Because at the start you're gonna have this workbench and then you're gonna use the level three one. Level three one. You'd want to fit it here, you'd have to remove the bags, by the way. Fit it here, like this, so it closes is the doorway off. And then how do you access your cupboard and the chest? The chests are easy to access, you can access them from here. And then you have the cupboard, which you will access like this. You can rotate this one, and come down here, and you get the open thingy. Come on, there it is. Cool. So by the way, the upkeep is 15k stone, but I'm only, I'm only using stone, right? 15k stone and 3k metal, because I only used 500 metal to build, but I have a lot of doors on this. Um. So once we're done here, this is basically it. I would say that these chests are very safe here in this location. So I would put like gunpowder and rockets in these. I don't know. Depends on you. 
They're like the last ones they could get, I guess, and the cupboard is down there, so this is what we want to protect mainly. You don't want to give the raiders more stuff to blow your base with, with. So then you come up here, this is your way up with the furnaces, plus these furnaces you can use them basically. When you get here, this is the way up to the roof, another furnace, then you get to the roof. And here you have this door. If you're getting graded and you're defending yourself, this is the main part where you're gonna defend yourself. And if you have this door open, nobody can jump in unless they blow it. When you come here, you open this part. You have your main loot room, but look, the loot rooms, you gotta split your loot into these two loot rooms. This one and the other one, you never want to put everything in one loot room. That's stupid. So never do that, guys. Then you have the bedrooms here. When you open these doors, it will block. So in case also you're getting online raided and you open these doors, you notice you can open and close everything from one spot. So you have beds here. This is what I call the bedroom. And you have a working bench, small one, in case you want to can jump in more on that crap. Wow. Yeah, so you have like small chests here where you can put like set with an AK, ammo, two syringes to defend yourself. But you can add these. As you can see here, you can add on these walls. Like this and like that. You can have drop boxes all over. So you can put stuff to craft even with because you have workbench here with you. And this is another room and you can... You can add more, more of those, like that. Okay, so every person has like a box and two, two drop boxes, which is kind of cool. And like you can spawn, like if you're getting online raided, you can spawn without them spotting you, basically, if you have the doors open or closed. And everywhere you, in these rooms you have a toilet, which is an anno annoying, because you're going to have to come here empty it so it's basically impossible to empty it and it's uh, impossible to rocket it at least the rocket the guy that's gonna rocket it is gonna die with the rocket so let's go to the last floor where the magic happens so whoa okay the server has no clip this is why it blocked me through the wall this doesn't work anymore anyhow this is the way up then you're gonna have a lot of garage doors let me open all these i'll show you you understand the roof more I open them, alright, garage doors, this is the last one, here. So you have each normal doorway leads to a balcony. These are the balconies you saw from the outside, you can shoot downwards, you have these gaps here, and you have the windows here, you can add shutters too. So you can close the shutters, aim downwards, if you're good with that, you want to check outside, you can open the shutters and shoot outside. So every single doorway is uh, a way out. Uh, these two in the middle, the double doorways, look at them, they have a turret here, a turret there, in case somebody actually blows the, these doorways, thinking that this is the way down, they would have to handle the turret, so if you're getting offline raided, this will be like very annoying for them, especially if they do both these, plus you have like loot boxes here you can drop off in, and then you have this awesome rooms, this doorway, this doorway, and the one where we came up from, this one here, you can fight the heli from here. And you see this jump is nothing, this is easy, you get used to it. You can fight the heli from these, and if you hear people under your base, you want to take them out, you open this doorway, you can spray them. And when you open this doorway, the automatic defense system, the clickbait in the title, will work. <laughs> and this is the clickbait. Basically, this is the automatic defense system turrets which you're gonna fill but you're gonna have these doors closed so nobody's gonna come around empty your turrets you're just gonna use them when you're getting raided when you have like a group outside your base you just like open this door peek out from here they get like they think it's you shooting or the turret they get fucked up they get sprayed down they're just gonna run away and die on the way because this turret like can reach like good range can reach people here even i think if it, uh, if it catches a guy here, it will follow him all the way here. But you gotta watch out from people emptying the turrets. Like, if it's getting emptied, you need to close the door so it disengages. Then, like, fuck with them and open it suddenly. So this is the door system. You need to use that with the turret because the turrets currently are very bad. 
they just like target someone and empty their bullets like on the door ledge here or on the on the wa uh, walls or whatever and last this is how i close the roof this is like extra protection you can have this you can if you don't want to you don't need it you can have like metal barricades here on the roofs also to don't uh, don't allow people to easily climb up and go down on you although like it will be a pain in the ass because they have to go to one two three to get here so it's annoying yes or they have to go to two here so you get the point this is the base basically i hope you guys like it because in my opinion this is very good i'm gonna try and build it on an uh on the server i'm gonna I might get back to Rust with the Elan and Miners. If they do get back to Rust, probably we're gonna build this. But you know me, if you watch my streams, I'm not much of a builder when it goes to playing on a server. I don't like to build a lot because I don't like to farm and it's boring for me. I'm like, I'm a good builder, but when I go on the server, I'm a PvPer. So, yes, we're gonna try and do this. Probably I'm gonna be live streaming. So don't forget to follow me on Twitch, link in the description, and of course like the video and subscribe because I'm going to be uploading next how to build this base. And let me know in the comment section if you have any feedback for this base. Uh, by the way, last, last thing before, because I just remembered when I said feedback, this is the minimum honeycombing. You can easily add to it, like for example this and other stuff but uh, it's not that important right now it's like more of a preference thing how much you want to spend on it and how much protection you want from it anyhow thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one